back. So you guys know that I'm a big fan of Kat Von D makeup. I have her Monarch palette and Chrysalis palettes and I love those. I think they're amazing quality. Um, I have some of her smaller palettes and I really enjoy those. Um, powder foundation, blah, blah, blah. I really like her line. So recently she came out with the Studded Kiss lipsticks. And as far as I understand it, these are basically replacing the Painted Love lipsticks that were part of her line um, for a while now. So this is supposed to be a better formula, longer wearing, more comfortable, just better. So there are some shades that are repeats from that old formula. So it's the same shades, but then just in the new formula. But then there are also quite a few new shades as well. And there are so many fun, unique ones. Um, so I grabbed six. I know, bad. Um, I need to film a Sephora haul. I'm so behind. I have, I've just been kind of accumulating things, but I haven't filmed a haul. So I wanted to go ahead and do this video because I haven't seen much information out on these. Um, so I just wanted to kind of talk about them and show you the ones that I got. I kind of went for more of the darker, vampy, fall type lips. I know we're not into fall yet. We have a while. Um, but I'm just kind of thinking towards that. And even my makeup today, I was like, I don't know, feeling vampy or something. So I think I have um, mostly the new shades, except I do have, I think I have two. I'll look and see which ones are um, from the old line and which ones are brand new colors. So I mostly have darker shades, but then I do have one bright one and one kind of more neutrally. So I'm gonna show you swatches of these. Um, I won't do lip swatches only because I was wearing a dark red lip earlier and from this line that I was trying out, I don't think, I didn't buy that one, no. But anyway, totally dyed my lips, so that tells you something about the formula. Um, like even now I'm wearing two shades and like mixed together and they look different because of my lips being stained. So it just wouldn't be accurate. So I'll show you on my pasty white arm <laughs> where you'll probably get the most accurate color representation because I almost look like a piece of paper. Let's just be honest. Um, so anyway, I'll show you swatches on my arm. I'll talk about the formula and kind of what I think about them. So let's just jump in. Okay, so the price of these lipsticks are $21. This is what the actual packaging looks like. So cool. It's got the name on the top of it as well as a little color swatch. Love the outside packaging. And then the actual tube looks kind of studded as well. And I want to say that I read or heard that this is based on one of her favorite pieces of jewelry or something like that. But it's just studded and cool looking. It's got the little Kat Von D on the top of it. And then also when you pull up the lipstick, it has Kat Von D like embossed on it as well. Super, super cute. I love the packaging. Now this does feel a little, you know, plasticky, but it's still nice. I love everything about this. I don't even want to throw away the box because it's so cute. So $21, let me get to the description. This is how they describe it, the formula. They say, this hybrid lipstick is formulated with color cushion technology, which combines 10 hour budge proof wear with vibrant color. Featuring a color spectrum for every skin tone, this lipstick lets you glide on velvety soft comfort and eye-popping colors that range from classic everyday neutrals to bright shades, and they are an ex a uh, Sephora exclusive. There are 30 shades in this line, and I believe that 12 of them are brand new colors, and they have everything you could look for in this line. They have nudes, they have pinks, they have corals, um, like bright ones, but also neutral everyday type shades. Um, they have vampy colors, which is kind of what I went more for. Uh, they have a black, they have a blue, they have a lavender, just so many different funky fun colors, but also great neutrals as well. So now we're gonna get into the swatches of the ones that I actually bought, and I'll talk about um, the formula of the ones I've tried out and kind of tell you what I think about those specifically. So let's get into that. Okay, so here are the swatches. So we're gonna start at the top here. This one is Lovecraft. This is such a cool, unique shade. I love this one. This was my last purchase and I just kind of kept thinking about it and I just thought it was so different and unique. They describe it as a matte berry beige and I think that's a perfect description of it because it's right in between. It's got some nude to it but it's also got some 
like berry, you know, but mauves and just very neutral tones. And while it's a matte, it's not like a flat, boring matte. It has a nice creaminess to it, so it's really comfortable. Great formula on this one. I really, really like this. I have not worn it by itself, but I've worn it mixed with some other ones, and it was very comfortable and very opaque, really nice coverage, so I love that one. So that was, again, Lovecraft. Next is Thin Lizzy. This is so cool and unique. When I put this lipstick on, I just instantly said, oh my gosh, I have nothing like this. It is so interesting. It definitely has some shimmer in it and you can feel it. It's very, very micro, so it's very comfortable, but you can feel grittiness. So if you don't like that in a lipstick, you will not like this one because you can feel that glitter, but it's not bad. It's very, very comfortable. But for the people that are very sensitive to it, I like to note that. So this is described as a sparkling brick copper. Just so different. The glitter, it's like a red, but it's got some brown in it, and the shimmer is very kind of golden, and you can see the shimmer on your lips. I just think it's so different. That's why I went for that one. So yeah, that was Thin Lizzy. Next is Archangel. This is the first new shade. The first two that I mentioned, um, Lovecraft and Thin Lizzy, those are both part of the old line, so it's just a new formula, but the same color. This is the first new one, Archangel. This is such a fun, unique, different kind of a red because it has some brown tones to it. It has some kind of coppery tones to it. It's just very different. Again, when I put it on my lips, I just said, I don't have anything like this. I have reds, but I don't have a red that looks like this. So they describe it as a matte, rusty red, and it absolutely is. This is a little bit more of a drying matte, but it's still very comfortable. If you like matte lipsticks, you will definitely like this one. It's not like um, Max Ruby Woo. It doesn't drag on the lips, uh, but it is a matte. So you wanna make sure that your lips are in good condition when you wear a color like this. But just such a funky, cool, great red lip for the fall. I'm super excited to wear that one. The next one is my absolute favorite. This is Lullaby. I mean, just look at it. It's like 80s goodness. You guys know that I love a good 80s looking lip. I think it's amazing. So I love this one. This is another new shade. I am wearing this mixed with another color, one of the other ones I'm about to get to. So this one here also has that little micro shimmer. So if you don't like that, you won't like this one just because of that micro shimmer, but it really is, because typically that can bother me too, but it doesn't bother me in these lipsticks. I really, don't mind that at all. They're just so unique and different that it's worth it. And it's a very comfortable glitter. Um, this is described as a matte magenta violet. So yes, while it is matte, um, the color of it itself, it doesn't really have any shine or anything. It definitely has that glitter in it. So note that about it is that it does have that shimmer, but it's just so cool. It's in between like a violet and a pink. So they have another one that was called Wonder Child, and it's very similar except it's more purple and just a lot more purple. So this one has a lot more magenta to it, but I just really love this one. I tried on Wonder Child, thought about getting it, but I just liked that this one had more magenta pinky tones to it. I think it's just more flattering on my skin tone, um, and I think it looked better with my teeth, to be honest. Um, purple's just, you know aren't quite as flattering on the teeth, you know what I mean? They can look a little, make your teeth look a little yellowy. So I liked that this one was more pinky. So that was Lullaby. Okay, the next one, I don't know how to say the name. I don't know if it's Bohaus, Bahas, Baha 5. It has a five at the end, but I don't know if it's supposed to be just a funny way of putting an S. I'm really not sure. It's B-A-U-H-A-U 5. So that's the color. Um, it's just a really great matte, and it reminds me of Max Rebel. I'll have to um, swatch them side by side and put them on Instagram or something, but I bet they're pretty close. But I just couldn't say no to this one because I love these kind of shades in the fall. This one is described as a matte deep raspberry, and it is. It's a great matte. Um, it's a little bit drying. Uh, probably more drying than Archangel was, um, which is this one. 
Um, so a little bit more drying than that one, but still very comfortable to wear. Such a beautiful raspberry shade. This will be perfect in the fall. I can't wait to wear this one. I'm actually already wearing this one and it looks awesome with Lullaby. So I love them together. So that's a great combo. I just did um, Boho 5, Bo, Boho, I don't know, on the outside of my lips with a Jordana lip liner. And then I put a little bit of Lullaby in the middle of my lips. So I love them together. They're gorgeous individually, individually. <laughs> they're gorgeous by themselves, but together they're awesome. Love that one. And then finally is Wolves Mouth. Such an interesting name. This is another new shade. Um, just awesome. This is the first one that I bought. This is the first one that I picked out and I just said, I have to have this lipstick because I've always been on the search for a darker version of Max Rebel. And since this one up here, since Bow House, Bow How 5, I don't know, looks very close to Max Rebel, um, you can see it's just a darker version of it. It's more purple. And I tried other ones from MAC and I just felt like they were either too red or too purple or too almost blue. This one is awesome. And it's metallic. It's got a nice sheen to it. I love this one. Wolf's Mouth is amazing. It is described as a metallic berry. And it totally is. I love that it's metallic. It looks so cool on the lips. Just has a little bit of a flashing to it. Like, yeah, it's just, it's a metallic berry. It's amazing. I love that one. So definitely my favorites would be, I think all of these are my favorites down here, but I tend to go for those colors. So I, that's why I grabbed these as well, because they're very unique and different, but I love them all. I think they are so awesome such a great formula and they have so many fun colors i just love this whole line of lipsticks i'm obsessed with it and then as far as the wear time on these and how comfortable they are i think they're awesome um you know the mattes are like a matte lip i mean if you're used to matte lipsticks then you'll love these they really are a great comfortable matte formula i think the metallic ones like wolf's mouth is amazing i think they are so this is so comfortable on the lips. I love this lipstick. This is one of my very, very favorites. Um, the only thing I notice is with Thin Lizzy and Lullaby, when I kind of build these up, you know, they've got that micro shimmer in them, that, that little um, grittiness. So I can find those little bits on my teeth. So you really want to make sure you clean out the, like, you know, do the little lip cleaning thing with your finger so that you don't have those little bits on your teeth because you don't want that. But they look amazing on the lips. They wear so well, hours and hours. They stain your lips. I think they're awesome. I love this line. I'm absolutely obsessed. There are more colors that I want, which is ridiculous because I already have six. I mean, that's probably four or five too many already. Um, but I highly recommend this line. If you are looking for funky, unique, dark vampy colors, go look at this line. But if you like brights, if you like fun 80s kind of colors, but if you like neutrals too, they've got them. I love these. I think they are awesome. So I hope this video was helpful for you and kind of answered some of your questions about this line. If you have more, just ask those down below. I'm happy to answer those. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful, if it did answer your questions, and if you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.